All right, guys, we're loaded up. We're ready to start going out and checking some mice. Reminder of all the things that I needed packed in the truck, but I think we got all the essentials figured out here, what we need. All the early ice safety stuff, of course. But we got our sled, we got our poles. We're ready to go catch some fish. Come along for the ride. Guys, Fairmont, Minnesota. Coming into town. Hopefully we're gonna like what we see. Gotta make a quick stop at the bait shop. Say hi to Justin, get a few things. One thing that's pretty neat about Fairmont as well is this, if you want to come from a long ways away and you're uh, looking for a place to stay, they got these Hall Lake cabins right here on the lake. So come spend the weekend, do a bunch of ice fishing. Can't beat that. Look them up if you're looking for a place to stay in Fairmont. Pulling into the bait shop here. Let's see what Justin knows. Pretty good place to go here, summer outdoors. Check them out if you got questions on ice conditions or need to know how the lake lake froze over, any, anything like that, he's the guy to talk to. We're gonna go in there and get a few things and then head out to the lake. Well, we're on the south side of Bud here. And the geese are still keeping this open. You can kind of see the glare ice out there. Water treatment plant over there. Looks like that stuff just blocked up, but uh, they're kind of keeping this channel here open on the south side of the lake. Looking like maybe on the north end is looking better, but uh, I'm not gonna walk out on this side and check it, because I can tell you it's definitely not ready on this, this end of the lake. Uh, we're gonna go check out Hall, see what I can find out there. I'm out here on Hall right now, actually out on the lake. I don't know how far from shore I am, but not too far, but uh, sounds like it's making ice today. Good noise, but. Three solid hits and we're not even moving her, so. I'm gonna go back and get the auger and see what we can drill, see what we got for depth. All right guys, first week of December. 2022. That's looking pretty darn good. And where I put my tape measure. About four inches of ice right here. So we're on the north. We're on Hall Lake right now, so uh, we got four inches of ice, and I'm gonna see what we got for fish. We'll see if we got any fish around, see how deep it is. All right, everybody, came out here on Hall Lake, just on the north end, just out in front of uh, the Channel Inn restaurant there. Uh, we got four inches of ice, got a few takers, obviously on the thinner ice, they're kind of skittish, they're not schooled up quite heavily yet, but uh, definitely, a good crop or good sized crop these ones here and those pretty fish but uh, that's what I got I had uh, some wax worms and a pill key and then also I was using the new stinky balls bait uh, the minnow scent so if you haven't heard of the stinky balls go check him out got some pretty cool products and the yellows like them so here we go we're gonna go over to bud and see what we find all right everybody I'm out here uh, in front of the water treatment plant uh, here on Bud and looks like this stuff just got glazed over so I'm gonna kind of walk up here but I can already see it ain't fishable <laughs> but uh, you can kind of see there this whole area just freeze or froze up kind of look at that spot It'll be a little bit before you're gonna be able to get out on this stuff I'll take you down here and look at it but I don't believe she's ready to go yet. About a half inch there, so that's going to take a little bit, but we're going to go check the far north end and see what that looks like. Alright guys, we made it to the north end of Bud. Uh, 
Doesn't look too bad. There's definitely water. The sun's kind of getting it, and there's some wet spots out there. I think that's just the snow melting, but uh, kind of walk out here a little bit and see what we got for hits with the spud bar. Pretty solid there. Three solid hits on that stuff. Got some snow on the ice, but got some good, good clean black ice here. But uh, we'll kind of venture out a little further, and I'll see if I'll go get the drill and drill a hole and see what we got. All right, everybody, we're on the north end of Bud still, and uh, ventured out here and had, you know, we got a lot of snow on the ice, and I, it's not ready yet. I think we got to give Bud another week or so, and it'll be ready, but. Right now, I don't, uh, I don't want to go swimming today, so we're not going to go out there and try anything. All right, we're going to go over to Siston, see what it's got. All right, everybody, we're over here at uh, the Ward Park boat ramp on Sisseton. Uh, you look all the way across there. I don't know if you can hear them. There they are, the geese. They got a pretty good hole opened up on that, so hopefully it'll get colder and freeze that up. But the rest of it doesn't look too bad. I'm going to start spudding out there and I'll get back to you on what it looks like. Well, this is the first rock drawer that I've seen on Sisseton here, right out in front of the boat ramp here. Uh, us ice fishermen really would appreciate it if you guys don't do that. It's probably one of the worst things you can do. For one, it's not safe because the heat or the sun will heat up the rock and then it'll melt and make it thin and somebody could fall through. And for two, throwing a rock, well, it's not going to show you nothing. So. Just for future reverence, please don't do this. We'd really appreciate it. Well guys, this is why we use our spud bar here. See them little bubbles, uh, been two consistent hits all the way out here. Then I see this spot here, you can see it bubbling. One hit, and you go through. So, you gotta watch out for that kind of stuff, different colored ice, stuff like that. But, uh, Those are a little thinner than what I'd like, so I'm going to have to try a different route here. Alright, let's see what we got. We're on Sisseton in front of Ward's Park here. And yep, we got four inches here as well. Kind of varies in a few spots, so be careful venturing out if you do. Make sure you have a spud bar, but uh, four inches of ice here on Siston. All right, we're out here on the far end of Siston, in the channel where it goes into George. And... Uh, Made it quite a ways. It's looking good. It's got snow on it, but everything underneath of it seems to be all right. Uh, we'll get the drill and drill a hole and we'll see what we got for depth. Well, we are on Sisseton and we are on the fish. Look at that. <laughs> That's 10 foot of water. Hopefully you can see that, but look at that school of fish. Had them up to five foot at one point. Pretty darn crazy, but good to see, and the size of them ain't bad at all. So, got four inches of ice. They've been biting on uh, spikes, white spikes, and they've been biting on the uh, Stinky Balls Minnow Scent. That's been working as well. But uh, this has been my fishing report here at Sisseton, and now we'll go check out George and Amber. All right, guys, we're looking at George Lake, shallower, but we got a guy ice fishing over there, so I don't even have to go out there because obviously it's fishable if he made her out there, right? No, nah, just kidding. You always want to check before you go out, but George looks good. It's a shallower lake, so I'm guessing it's probably got four to five inches of ice on it already. A little snow cover. All right, guys, we're on the north end of Amber Lake, and as you can see, this stuff ain't, uh, isn't ready yet on this north side of the lake, but on the south side there, off the blacktop, their little drive in there, looks like people are walking out over there. 
so it's safe to say there's fishable ice on amber as well so you can kind of take your pick other than bud needs a little work and then i was just looking at the south end of hall and there's a pretty good opening on the middle of the lake so you're not going to want to venture out too far on hall but uh that's what we got uh that's been your ice report here for the five lakes fairmont minnesota and uh, a little bit of fishing report as well as some of the yellow bass are biting already uh, looking like next weekend is going to be a good weekend to go do some fishing. So as always, remember to be careful, have everything safety-wise with you when you're out there, spud bar, spikes, uh, throw a bowl, and a buddy with you as you don't want to go out by yourself. And as you'll see earlier in the video, please don't throw rocks to see ice conditions. Do it the right way. We'd really appreciate. But this has been Lucas Parsons with LGS Outdoors, and we thank you for watching. And please subscribe if you want to, to see more fishing reports in our area.